You have a network of tissues and organs that work together to keep fluid balanced in your body. It does that by getting rid of toxins and other unwanted stuff in the body. That network is called the lymphatic system. But for a long time, scientists thought we didn't have this thing in our brain. Until recently. In 2015, a report came out talking about lymphatic vessels in the membrane of the mice's brains. Then sometime later, brain imaging showed that humans have lymphatic vessels on the membranes of our brains too. And their job is to make way for your immune cells to go through the central nervous system and take out the trash. In 2018, researchers found a new organ that takes up a lot of weight in our body. It looks like an oddly shaped honeycomb wall filled with fluid. It was discovered by accident when scientists were looking at the tissue of people's organs. Experts named this new organ interstitium, but some others dismissed the claim because they believed calling uneven microscopic spaces filled with fluid an organ wasn't accurate. The interstitium is a collagen mesh that shrinks and expands like a shock absorber. It also acts as a highway to transport fluids within your organs and around the body. The volume of the fluid is around 20% of your body weight, but it can fluctuate depending on your health. I'm talking about the mesentery, not to be confused with cemetery. It's a huge sheet of tissue that looks like a coral. It holds your intestines in place, attaches them to the wall of the abdomen, and helps to store fat. Until recently, scientists believe it had multiple little fragments. But they were able to look at it closely when patients were going through surgery. There, they found that it's actually a single unit. And it wasn't the first time this was mentioned. Even Leonardo da Vinci showed it in his drawings. After its continuity was discovered, scientists agreed that it should qualify as an organ, while other experts disagree. Have you heard the idiom about walls that have ears? Well, if they're really mad, you could have found out their names. Hey Sean, hearing me well enough, are you? Anyway, the little gullies and hills of the inside of your ears are nowhere else to be found. You can be sure that no one has the same shape of ears as you. Scientists from the UK have even developed a method of identifying a person by measuring the reflection of light off the curves inside the ears. I wonder if it's like a shadow play or something. Whatever the case, it seems to be a pretty handy discovery because Yahoo, one of the biggest software developers in the world, is now working on an ear scanner for smartphones. You won't need to press your finger to a special sensor anymore. To make a call, just hold your phone to your ear. Now, I've already mentioned your eyes, but irises aren't the only thing that can distinguish you from other people throughout the years. Your periocular region is the area just around the eyes that includes the bridge of your nose and your eyebrows. Scientists say this is a very reliable way to identify someone, even without sophisticated equipment. Not only the eyes can serve as our biomedical ID, but the zone immediately around them too. This is especially true because, unlike other parts of our face, the periocular region pretty much doesn't age. There are little to no wrinkles appearing in that part, and the skin remains taut there. If only that could be true about the whole face. Well, what did you think? If your fingerprints are unique, why wouldn't toe prints be so? Your toes are just like fingers, except they're on your feet. And they also have those swirling patterns on their soft parts. Some scientists even think that toe printing is a better way to collect biometric data about an individual, because toe patterns are less likely to be erased. After all, you always use your bare hands in everyday life, while your feet are normally covered with some kind of footwear. Basically, yawning isn't only supposed to happen when you're sleepy or bored. That's just the most common circumstances for it. Fun fact! Parachutists often yawn right before they get ready to jump from the plane. Now, I wouldn't call that a good moment to take a nap. Nor would I say that skydiving is the most boring thing ever. Ha <laughs> ha! Try it sometime! Yawning is basically stretching your jaw and inhaling as deep as you can. Both actions make the blood in your vessels rush to your head and spinal fluid go down your spine. Surprisingly, it's a way for your body to shake you up. Whenever you feel stressed or anxious, you might yawn as your body prepares itself to deal with it. Yawning also has psychological reasons. You've probably noticed that it can be contagious. 
That's because we're a highly social species. And as such, we need to synchronize our cycles of sleep with each other. In short, when one person starts to yawn from fatigue, he or she sends a signal of fatigue to others around and makes everyone sleepy. Well, it turns out, yawning is magic. Have you ever seen those strange, ghostly-looking flies that seem to float aimlessly right in front of your eyes, or maybe even inside your eyes? Well, don't be afraid, these aren't flies at all. They're eye floaters. They're especially easy to see if you look at the blue sky or other light in clear scenes. Floaters aren't exactly objects. They're just tiny imperfections in one special part of the main body of the eye, called the vitreous. We see them because these structural imperfections stand in the way of the light that passes from pupil to retina, which forms your vision. So, you don't have to rush to an optometrist the next time you see them. They're usually perfectly harmless. The worst kind of waking up is when you jerk or jump, startled, with the terrible sensation that you fell off your bed or a cliff. It turns out this happens right after you've fallen asleep, at the exact moment all your muscles simultaneously relax. Your brain may mistake it as a distress call, because normally, if all your muscles relaxed, you'd fall. To prepare you for the fall, your brain will naturally send a lot of quick signals to your muscles to make them work again. This phenomenon even has a special name – hypnic jerks. The same thing also happens on a smaller scale, making your legs or arms twitch when you're falling asleep. The difference between us and our little ape cousins is not in the quantity of hair at all. That's the same. It's all in the quality. We use nicer shampoos, I know. No, it really comes down to the way we evolved our hair. We needed to sweat more effectively and thus control body heat. Another good thing about our fine, dainty hair it's much less likely to harbor parasites. And we look better this way, so it's a win-win. Your lungs are capable of forcing air out of them so hard that it moves almost at the speed of sound. Okay, one-third the speed of sound, but still. This is for particularly boisterous coughs coming from a pretty large set of lungs. Like this. Wow, I need some water. Just imagine if it was a little faster and you created a sonic boom. Well, don't count on it. Our lungs regulate the speed. <clears throat> nope. It has a special mechanism to manage going underwater. It's called the diving reflex, and it's in almost every kind of mammal, including humans. This reflex redistributes oxygen in your body by channeling it to your heart and brain. The moment you dive into the water, your body automatically slows down the heart rate, constricts blood vessels, and releases red blood cells stored in the spleen. This reflex is also triggered by wetting the face and especially the nostrils. But it won't work just from running your hands or feet underwater. Speaking of which… It may seem like something that just happens to your skin if it's wet. But here's a curveball fact. People with damaged nerves in the skin don't get wrinkly fingers in the water. It turns out that this wrinkling has a powerful reaction to water, triggered by the nervous system. We need these wrinkles to achieve a better grip with wet surfaces. Experiments have proven this too. A person with these raisin fingers was able to collect more wet marbles than a person with smooth, dry hands. Every single second, there are 100,000 chemical reactions going on in that big brain of yours. Breathing, blinking, moving muscles, and controlling your body like a marionette. Your brain stays busy around the clock. For such a complex machine, the human brain is mostly water, about 70%. That's why going without water is a more immediate problem than going without food. The average person will grow 600 miles of hair in a lifetime. That's about the distance from New York City to Dayton, Ohio. It's a very hairy distance. That pink, squishy-looking membrane in the inner corner of your eye is a leftover from evolution. It used to be a third nictitating eyelid. Many animals still have it, like birds, reptiles, and cats. Goosebumps are also left over from evolution. They used to help our much hairier ancestors living in Dayton, Ohio, look bigger and scarier. Yes, just like how a cat's hair stands up on end when it feels it needs to protect itself or scare somebody away. You can't burp in space. Really, try it. 
can't go to space? Well, trust me. Burping happens when liquid separates from gas in the stomach, and this only occurs thanks to gravity. The heart pumps blood at such a pressure that it could raise it up to the fourth floor of a building. And it takes 45 seconds for your blood to pump from your heart, through your whole body, and back to home base. It also pumps 2,000 gallons of the stuff in a single day. That's almost as much as a concrete mixer truck can hold. Information moves along nerves at about 200 miles per hour, getting from one place to another in a matter of milliseconds. And that's why you jerk your hand back so quickly when you accidentally touch that hot pizza pan. Your brain has 86 billion nerve cells that join to create 100 trillion connections. For comparison, our Milky Way galaxy contains only about 300 billion stars. We get visible armpit stains at the most inopportune moments – during a speech, on a date, at a job interview. I know it's embarrassing, but your body is trying to protect you. It releases sweat in response to any danger or stress. If you were an early human, trying to get out of a headlock with a rival, then your wet skin would be slippery. Sweaty palms also cling to tree branches better. Next time you're giving a presentation, just remember, you'll be able to slip out of an enemy's grip and climb up a tree. Yeah, that's handy. Well, when the weather changes, the air pressure changes. Your blood vessels and nerves feel this difference in pressure and react. They expand, get smaller, or spasm. In an ideal situation, these vessels are elastic and quickly recover when the weather changes drastically. But for some people, their vessels and nerves can't keep up. So you get a pressure difference between the inside of your body and the outside. The result? Pain in the form of a headache or migraine. And FYI, your body is telling you to find a more comfortable environment. Over thousands of years of evolution, the human brain has become accustomed to two types of movement – walking and running. In comparison to human history, cars appeared not so long ago, so the brain hasn't completely adapted. When you're sitting in a car, your muscles are relaxed, which means there are no signs that movement is occurring. Yet the inner ear, which controls balance, feels that there is movement. The brain comes to a logical conclusion. Ah, oh, sacre bleu! I have been poisoned! What's the best reaction to poisoning? Nausea. <coughs> Every time you sunbathe, a real battle is taking place on the surface of your skin. The sun emits ultraviolet rays that are harmful to our bodies. To defend itself, your skin starts producing a special pigment, melanin. It steps forward and bravely takes a hit and absorbs ultraviolet light. With more and more pigment being produced, the skin gets darker. Now with hair, things are a little different. It does have small reserves of melanin, but it can't produce it like your skin can. So the sun quickly burns all the melanin reserves and the hair loses a little pigment. It's like the nursery rhyme. This little pigment went to market. This little pigment stayed home. This little pigment had r um, what? Oh, that's piggies, not pigment? Never mind. It was believed for a while that the tongue will beat pound for pound every other muscle in the human body. But here is another muscle you train regularly, and it's the real champ. Your jaw muscle, or masseter. It provides 200 pounds of pressure, and in the world record case, all 975 pounds. Your eyes are constantly taking separate pictures and moving all the time to make a full image of your surroundings. You don't notice that, because your brain makes it all smooth by stabilizing the image and editing different fragments into one seamless flow. Don't like the number on the scales? Give yourself a break! From 2 to 5 pounds of all your body weight doesn't even belong to you, but to microscopic life that lives inside us all. In the human mouth alone, more bacteria live than people on Earth. But don't panic, it's absolutely normal, and most of these tiny microfolks are entirely harmless. There are no two identical brains in the world. Brain structure highly depends on conditions in which it develops and grows, and therefore we all have something individual to us, even on a biological level. And just like your fingers, your tongue too has a unique print on it that won't be like any other in the world. The brain takes only 2% of your whole body weight, but it's such a powerhouse that it requires 20% of the energy you consume, even while you sleep. In fact, it's even more active while it seems like you're just resting or wandering in dreamland. 
If you stretch DNA molecules from all cells in your body, the line will be twice as long as the diameter of the solar system. One DNA molecule will be 6.5 feet long, and it's kind of impressive for something packed in the tiny fraction of a cell. And here is the most surprising thing. Around 50% of all the genes in your DNA contain encoded information about your brain structure. 98% of your body takes the other half of the genes. Women distinguish more colors than men because they have two X chromosomes and men only have one. Ah. Even if something is wrong with one of the chromosomes, a woman can still see the colors correctly. That's why they are rarely colorblind. Nearly 12% of women have four types of cones in the retina instead of the regular three. This gives them super vision. They can see 100 million colors and not 1 million like other people. You know, guys. Female muscles are richer in elastin and more flexible than those of males. Girls have a particularly flexible lower back. This helps them stay upright when they put some weight on during pregnancy, and their gravity center shifts. They can also do those crazy gymnastic tumbling runs at the Olympics that defy gravity. Women blink faster and more frequently than men. It's 19 versus 11 blinks per minute. As females get older, they start to blink even more because of higher levels of estrogen. The female brain is 9% smaller than that of a man. It has the same amount of cells that are more densely packed. But the brain's cognitive abilities aren't any worse. Women's immune system is stronger, and it ages more slowly. That's why, on average, women live longer than men. The difference can be a whole decade in some places, and at least two to three years universally. By the way, female orangutans and chimpanzees also outlive their males. Well, let's rub it in! Every day, the average woman unknowingly puts on about 515 chemicals on her body. They come in deodorants, shampoos, conditioners, moisturizers, and other beauty products. Most of them are harmless, but it's always better to research the products to avoid toxins. Women are so good at detecting scents, they can even tell when their partner is stressed out just by smelling their shirt. This could be because females have more cells and neurons in the part of the brain responsible for identifying smells. Relaxing music slows your heart rate down, and upbeat and energetic tunes speed the pulse up. Even though some animals may look as if they're crying, people are the only living beings that can produce emotional tears. Other creatures shed tears to lubricate their eyes. You're more likely to have a bad dream if you're sleeping in a too hot or too cold room. One in 200 to 500 people has an extra rib called cervical. This bone rarely bothers its owners and the person may not even know they have it. If you walk for 12 hours a day, it would take you a bit less than 700 days to travel around the world. By age 60, most people lose half of their taste buds. Getting back to bones for a second, you have more than 200 of them in your body, and a quarter of them are in your feet. That's why, if those bones aren't aligned properly, it has an effect on the entire body. Each taste bud functions as a mini-computer. It consists of up to 100 cells that analyze taste information. There's no scientific proof that if you shave your hair, it'll grow back darker and thicker than before. Keep in mind that ATMs are as dirty as public toilets. When researchers took swabs from ATM's keyboards, they found tons of harmful bacteria. Your nose remembers more than 50,000 different smells. That's why when you hear such phrases as hot chocolate, a new car, summer rain, you immediately recall the smell. When you blink, you not only keep your eyes clean and moist, you also take a micro nap. Researchers from Washington University have discovered that blinking sharpens attention and serves as a tiny recharge. Every day, you breathe 25,000 times without any effort. 
probably a good idea to keep doing so. You blink at a rate of 15 times a minute, or 15,000 times every day when you aren't sleeping. Every day, 25% of your stomach lining is regenerated to avoid injury by super-potent stomach acid. 50 gallons of blood go through your kidneys and get cleaned daily. 250,000 sweat glands on your feet produce about a cup of sweat a day. Every day, about 10% of the human skeleton is replaced because bones are in constant self-reconstruction. Around 20,000 thoughts race through your head every day. If you took all the saliva you produced in a lifetime, you'd fill two swimming pools. Hey, anybody for a swim? Not only your fingerprint is unique, but your tongue print as well. Every hour, an average human loses about 600,000 skin particles. So, being flaky is not only emotional. Babies only blink once or twice a minute. If your eye were a camera, it'd be a whopping 576 megapixel one. The highest fever a human ever had was 115 degrees Fahrenheit. A human stomach can't really digest grass as easily as a cow's stomach. You'd need several stomachs for that. The fastest growing hair on your body is facial hair. The fastest growing nail is on your middle finger. The fastest growing nose on your face is on your face. <laughs>